Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to download and install Apache NetBeans on your Windows 11 operating system. Before we begin, please note that you need to have Java installed on your system. So first, we'll go through the steps to install the Java JDK. So let's dive right in. First, open your browser and search for Java JDK download. Click on the first link, which should be from Java Downloads. I will also provide this link in the description for easy access. On the Oracle page, scroll down to find the version of Java you want to download. As of the time of making this video, Java 22 is the latest version available. Select the Windows option and then click on the EXE installer link to download the Java JDK. Once the EXE file is downloaded, click on it to start the installation. If prompted by user account control, click Yes to allow changes. In the Java Setup window, click Next. The installer will show the default installation path, usually in Drive CE. If you don't have a specific reason to change it, just click Next to proceed. Wait for the installation to complete. Once done, click Close. Java is now installed, but we still need to set up environment variables. To set the environment variables, click on the search icon and type Edit the system environment variables, then select it. In the System Properties window, click on Environment Variables. Under System Variables, find and select the path variable, then click Edit. In the Edit Environment Variable window, click New. Then navigate to the folder where Java was installed, which is Drive C, then Program Files, and then Java. Copy the address up to the bin folder within the JDK directory and paste it in the environment variable window. Then click OK. To set the Java home variable, click New under User Variables. Name it Java underscore home in all capital and for the value, paste the path to the JDK directory excluding the bin folder. Click OK to save. Click OK. To close all windows. To verify Java installation, open the command prompt by typing cmd in the search bar. In the command prompt, type Java version and press enter. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the version of Java that you installed. With Java installed, we can now install NetBeans ID. Open your browser and search for NetBeans download. Click on the first link from netbeans.apache.org download. On the NetBeans website, you can see the latest releases. As of this video, the latest version is NetBeans 22. Click on the download button under the Apache NetBeans 22 section. On the next page, select the installer for Windows by choosing the Windows 64-bit.exe file to start downloading the executable file. Once it's downloaded, click on the .exe file to start the installation. If prompted with a security warning, click Yes. The NetBeans installer will launch. You can customize the installation if needed, but I'll proceed with the default settings. Accept the license terms and click Next. The installer will detect the Java JDK you installed earlier. If it doesn't, you can manually browse for the JDK folder. Click Next and then install to start the installation. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. You'll now see a NetBeans shortcut on your desktop. Click on it to launch NetBeans IDE. To verify everything is working, let's create a simple Java project. Click on File, New Project and choose Java with Maven. Select Java Application and click Next. If prompted to activate Java SE, check the boxes and click Download and Activate. On the next window, provide a name for your project and click Finish. You'll see a new project structure in the Projects tab. Right-click on Source Packages, select New, Java Class and name your class. Inside the class, create a public static void main method by typing PSVM and hitting Ctrl plus space to auto-complete it. In the main method, add the following code, system.out.println hello world. Now, build the project by clicking the Build Project button and once it says Build Success, click Run Project. 
you should see the message Hello World in the output confirming that everything works correctly. That's how you download, install and use NetBeans ID on your Windows 11 operating system. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free. So click the link in the description to sign up.